we live in this very Procrustean world. This comes from the story of the Bed of Procrustes, ancient Greek myth, where basically there's this hotel owner named Procrustes. And instead of conforming the beds to the people, he conforms the people to the beds. So he has one size bed for all of his guests. And if the guests are too short, he stretches them out so that they can fit in the bed. And if the guests are too long for the bed, too tall, he chops off their arms and legs. And I think it's an extremely profound story because I think we live in a very Procrustean world where what do we do? We say, okay, what does it take to be a good student? To be a good student basically means that you are pretty good at a bunch of different things. So you are you have a way better GPA if you are like solid at math, solid at science, solid at, solid at English, solid at language, versus if you are just like a genius in one capacity. Like a genius in one capacity, they're going to do terribly in school. So from the very beginning, the mindset is you need to try to be good at everything, and then you need to conform yourself for all these different subjects. And it just is not a good way to be because the core thing that I think you're trying to understand is actually exactly the opposite. What is the thing that comes extremely naturally to you that is fluid? And now that isn't to say, this is where that gets misinterpreted, fluid. Oh, so you're saying that being successful at whatever it is that you do, being world-class, it's going to be easy? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's going to be incredibly difficult, but you're going to be excited about the challenges that are presented. And sometimes it's small shifts. So two examples. The first is you have a knife. Well, okay. But if you're using a butter knife to cut butter, fluid. The second you start using that same tool to cut a steak, you're like, this thing doesn't work. And I think a lot of people are butter knives who are trying to cut steak and they're like, oh, this isn't working. They're like trying so hard. It's like, just go find your butter, man. What's part of your natural essence that you resisted? Yeah, I mean, honestly, I think that it wasn't about resisting as much as just trying to do too many things that were away from my natural mm. essence. Like my natural essence has always been there and I don't resist that. My problem is trying to fake somebody I'm not. I do this all the time, all the time. And that's one of my big problems. And then my other big challenge that I always face is basically 90% of the problems in my life are that I'm afraid to tell somebody the truth because I'm scared of how it's gonna make me look. 90% of the things. And what I just try to do three things. The first is uh, basically build domain expertise in online writing for incredibly smart and ambitious people. The second thing is get really good at communicating those things through writing and speaking. And the third thing is building a large and loyal online audience so that I can amplify the first two. That's all I want to do. I've never resisted those things. The problem is when I'm not in one of those three things, I'm not doing the thing that I'm made for, which is those three things.